Hello oh, guys, welcome back to another filler again. So today I'm gonna be ranking every Madis Combat Hank. That is canon by the way. This list has non-canon one like Pink Hank and White Hank. So yeah, I'm not gonna be ranking them. But this video is, is supposed to be a ranking of every Madis Combat character. But I forgot to open my mic. So I just pick a new list instead because i don't want to redo something that i already pour my thoughts into i want it to be very genuine very real i guess but before we begin i have an announcement i have a membership the perks will be explained with a video of the membership so if you like my video like my channel and want to support me directly you can go there you can join a membership and it would mean a lot to me so yeah let's go first we have this guy, which is technically not Hank, so now we start on Manus 1 Hank. His design is just grunt, so there's nothing notable about that. His story in Manus 1 and Manus 2, I mean, it's fine really. There's nothing really interesting about him, he's just a killing machine, which is fine. So I'm gonna put him in B. Manus 3 Hank. I mean, this is the first. We actually got a glimpse to one of defining character traits of Hank, which is determination to try to finish his mission. Whether he's dead or defeated, he's still gonna try to finish that mission. So I'm gonna give him an A. I mean, his design is eh, but I mean, it distinguishes him from normal grunt and him being the first time we see uh, one of the most defining character traits of Hank is kinda dope. This guy, uh, Manus 4 Hank. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, but the episode that he appears is very dope. I like the music, I like the first appearance of 1137 Agent, and how it kind of established a rivalry between Jab, Tricky, and Hank. That is creative, even though it's kind of come out of nowhere, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So, I'll give him in an A. It's not as um, significant as Manus 3 Hank, but it's still pretty cool. Manus 5 Hank. His design is. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's distinguish him from most of Grunt very carefully and distinguish him from most of his other appearance. But I kind of don't like it. It's very, I don't know, it just looks very uncomfortable for me. And Madness 5 is kind of boring, to be honest. There's nothing significant happen except Hank's third death and the establishment of improbability drive Tricky has. But we are ranking about Hank and his appearance in the episode here. So I'll put him in like between these two. Antipathy. He appeared twice, which is kind of curious why he didn't got put here on here twice. Because, you know, Aggregation Hank got put here twice. Consternation Hank got put here twice. Aggregation is actually put here thrice. Look at that. Antipathy. He's probably the most significant Hank that we see. That is in Aggregation. Because he's appeared in two episodes. Kind of like Consternation, but consternation part in Manus 9.5 is not that significant as antipathy part and I like how his design is just Manus 5 Hank but the mouth just mm, it just do something for me that depredation Hank didn't so I'm gonna put him in S tier our S Hank for today he's pretty cool his story is great his appearance in the episode is great like especially in antipathy uh yeah in antipathy where he tried to chase down Tricky and how it's echo back in 9.5 where he point at Tricky like I found you or something like that. So I kind of like him. He's probably one of my favorite Hank in the series. Consternation. I'm probably gonna only rank this guy then. Let me change the name. Yeah, Consternation. His appearance is probably, yeah, I mean, it's pretty not that memorable except his first appearance, but his other appearance is kind of overshadowed by antipathy. But his design is really great. It's very clean, it's very neat, it's very simple, and him in action is very cool. With him being agile and more weaker physically than antipathy. But his animation in the episode is very cool in the 9.5 because Kringles try to differentiate between antipathy and consternation with antipathy being physically stronger and consternation being physically weaker. So I'll put him in top of A. His appearance isn't as significant as antipathy for him to be put as S. But his animation is cool. His first appearance is cool. Even though he kind of died instantly. Which is not by Tricky even though that's the main focus. So it's kind of it's kind of sad. So I can't rank him any higher than this. Aggregation Hank. We're gonna start with... Why is there two of them? I'm gonna uh, not rank this guy then. Because th basically they're the same person. Aggregation Hank. Uh, I'm gonna put Aggregation Hank first design. Well, Aggregation overall is like... 
A to bottom S for me because you know his design is cool introducing the first half mech in the series and him being able to you know conjure electricity that can actually damage the auditor is very cool very neat and his two appearance also very significant and very notable which well three technically but he only appeared in well almost the end of the episode 9 but yeah it's still very notable with episode 9 his memorable moment being him using Deimos body his appearance in episode 10 well it's the whole episode and especially it's the part where he grabbed Sanford to not be killed by the explosion which also kind of implying that Hank grown to value the human life more well at least to his allies anyway so I'm gonna put aggregation overall either at the top of A or at the bottom of S let me think I, I kind of like the design with his crustacean claw arm more so I'm gonna put it as the bottom of F and this uh, at the top of A the hand one is probably the more significant and more notable but I just like the claw arm more it's kind of distinguish him from other mech and actually have some cool fighting style with him instead of hand-to-hand -hand combat project nexus Hank I don't remember much about him but I remember him being a asshole in that so yeah it probably won't rank him aside but his design is cool i like his design a lot it's kind of a combination between depredation hank and consternation hank which i really like both so i'm probably gonna rank him in like a here so yeah that's my complete list of every hank in madness combat ranked based on their design their significant on the story of hank and everything so we are at the end of the video now which is very short considering that this video is supposed to be longer if i hadn't fucked it up by not unmuting my mic but whatever i guess so yeah this is my complete list if you disagree or agree with anything i put here you can just comment down below start some more discussion so yeah if you want to support me you can just join down there and yeah i will use your money to upgrade the video quality i guess so yeah see ya